devil riding shotgun Singing boy, let's make a deal yeah, I, I thought it dragged a little bit too. Like I thought, I think I think I told you, I think it was thirty to forty minutes too long, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was. Well, I think it was like two two and a half hours, maybe. It was, yeah, I think it was almost two hours and forty minutes or something like that. It was really yeah. long. Yeah. So, so they could have like uh, they could have done like uh, a little bit of uh, editing, trimming down. I yeah. Guess. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm not an editor, so I'm not sure exactly where, you know, right. The editing would have been or anything like that. But I kind of feel like there's, there's, there was a couple of unnecessary kind of moments that I yeah, had to say for yeah. sure. Well, I, there was a point there that I, uh, I kind of like dozed off. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to figure out, okay, what happened to the black lady the, uh, that was on the team? Can oh yeah. She me? got shot. By who? By, uh, by the, by, by, uh, by the Oklahoma wild man, I think. Oh, yeah. what? Like, uh, like he, uh, like, uh, just turned on her or something like that. Yeah. Like, well, I think she, she tried to stop them from killing I, I don't remember exactly how it happened, but she tried to stop them from killing someone or something, and he turned around and shot her. I'm pretty uh, sure that's what happened. Either that or the, okay. the the Nazi doctor, one of the two. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there, yeah, that was. Uh, I, I, I actually have a note here. I want a whole series of movies around her. I thought that I thought she was cool, and I thought that having like a CIA girl in the seventies uh, investigating the paranormal, <laughs> like the X Files, sort of like a black exploitation thing. Yeah, I yeah. think it would have been totally cool. It well, it, it totally reminds me. Well, she. I thought it was Rachel Brooks. I thought that was the same actress oh, for a second there. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see where you would have thought that. And then, I, and then I kept on thinking of uh, Beyonce in uh, Austin Powers. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what it, it was very reminiscent of that for me, too. That's exactly yeah. what I thought of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I would totally watch uh, I would totally watch movies I, around that character, like uh, fighting crime in the 70s, you know, or investigating the paranormal in the 70s. Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah, I mean, the 70s were like the total conspiracy time, too, because, you know, like people like, oh, you know, our president got shot, you know? Like, right. Like <laughs> Yeah, they haven't made enough movies. I mean, they've made a bunch of movies about, like, the Vietnam War and Nixon and that sort of stuff. But they haven't made a lot of movies about, like, the world and the culture in the 70s, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, there was those, I don't know if you remember the the church committee here. You wouldn't remember it, but I don't know if you ever looked at the, the church committee hearings. Mm -mm. Uh, that Those happened during the 70s. And one of the things that they found out was that the CIA had planted, and this sounds all crazy and stuff, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the CIA uh, had like... Uh, had uh, embedded like uh, you know like CIA uh, uh, officers uh, or uh, you know basically plants to plant stories and stuff. Oh and yeah, they still do that now. <laughs> oh yeah, well they had they had people in the Black Panthers and uh -huh, like yeah. all that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, but yeah, I always thought that was interesting. Um, you know, just an interesting time that you can look, go back to and go, well, I mean, it was kind of, it was obviously before you and my time, but it's kind of interesting to look and, and look at, look at what, what had been going on at that time. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm on record saying something of the effect of you could throw out every piece of music recorded between 1976 and 1984 and only lose about 12 good songs. <laughs> but culturally it's a very interesting time <clears throat> yeah yeah well I, like i said i think it just goes back to you know like you were saying the vietnam war yep. uh you know like people uh, like outright uh, you know draft dodging you know going to uh, muhammad ali yeah even, you yeah know, he, he, all the optimism of the 60s just flushed right down the toilet <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, and then the '80s come come along. Uh, who was who was president during the '80s? Uh, Reagan, I think, is his name. Reagan, yeah. the actor, the actor. <laughs> <laughs> Those are for the uh, for the Ted uh, with lasso. Uh, people. <laughs> 
with my uh, poor impression of Doc Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Who's who, what does he say? Who's the vice president? I go, I don't remember who he says the vice president was, but yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but I just remember that was probably like one of the funniest things. Uh, yeah, you know, great line for beer. <laughs> no, no, it's a great line. Yeah. You tell people in the fifties that Ronald Reagan becomes president, and they're like, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah. what? Reagan, the actor. <laughs> go back to the go back to 2002 and tell everybody that hey, you know that guy that's on The Apprentice, he becomes president. Oh, I know, oh, I know. <clears throat> or the, the that picture of OJ and Bruce Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Some things, <laughs> some things age interestingly, don't they? They do. They do. <laughs> <laughs> well, for those who haven't figured it out yet, we're talking a little bit about uh, the new Indiana Jones movie that came out this week, uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which is uh, the name is just atrocious. Um, yeah. but they couldn't have called it the Antikythera or whatever because everybody would have been like, what the hell is the that? marketing poster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows what the hell that is. It's actually a real thing, apparently. It um, is, yeah. it is, and they, they really don't know what it does. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how was you so you saw it just just before we're recording uh, how how was yeah. your showing was what did was it sold out um uh, i don't think well no i don't think so because i i was able to find a couple of seats okay and i just had done it like uh you know right before the movie started yeah um but you know what i i did notice in the theater and i it just seemed like it was out of focus oh the the film Oh, that's weird. Just like a, yeah, which is very strange because I, I, I was like, okay, well, it just seems like that. Unless it's my vision. My vision could be going. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. You're just getting old. Maybe you had a stroke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is everything blurry? I don't understand. <laughs> How does this thing work? <laughs> I'm drooling all over myself. <laughs> But I, I uh, and I don't think, it, did it seem like really dark to you also? Like they didn't mm -hmm. put really no. I don't know. that's the one the showing that I like the first the first do. 10 minutes maybe were a little dark but even even yeah. the outside scenes that were dark in the first 10 minutes were pretty well i could see what was going on my beef wasn't so much with the lighting as it was with the quick cut action it, it, oh it, yeah I, I hate it so much it just it makes it impossible <laughs> to see what's going on on the screen you know yeah yeah yeah, that well, the, the, I thought the first scene was okay, oh, but it, uh, I think the last part where they get to, uh, you know, well, I, I guess, you know, yeah, no, spoiler, we'll, we'll put a spoiler yeah. warning on this so we can talk about whatever. Yeah, so like when when he's in Syracuse, that, that's the other thing I noticed because it was like significantly brighter, I could yeah. see everything, and then it was also clearer too to me. Like oh, interesting, was going, uh, yeah, okay, so I don't know, maybe it was like the first, I don't know. It was just it was just strange. I just noticed that right immediately, like uh, uh, when I like when the movie started. Hmm. But, yeah, I didn't I didn't have the same experience. But yeah. did you watch like in a standard uh, whatever it's called, uh, like just like normal, or did you watch like Dolby? No, no, in a, in a normal theater, normal theater, oh, not okay, like okay. IMAX or I don't even yeah, think they, yeah, I don't even no. think they have it in that. I'm not, I'm not sure. But. They have well, I don't even know anymore. Like, there's like different like sound things, and then I thought like the video was supposed to be better on certain ones. Like, the, they have the Atmos, like different sound, you know. Oh yeah, Atmos or THX or whatever. But then I thought the video was supposed to be better on some of them too. Like the or not video, but the you know the film uh, yeah. the projection. But, yeah, I don't know. You know. <clears throat> All I know is I'm I'm trying to find. Uh, I, I'm going to try and go see. Uh, 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 Oh, Oppenheimer in 70 millimeter. That's, that's, oh, yeah, I'm that looks mean. awesome. <laughs> Doesn't it look awesome? Yeah. I'm really excited for that movie. I'm a, I love the, the story. I love that story and, and how that came to be and how he came to regret everything he ever did and, <laughs> and how the government then went after him because he regretted it. And just like, I, I, it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. So. Did you, was there a trailer? Because I even missed the trailer. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, there was a trailer for comments? Oppenheimer. Yeah, there was oh, okay. there, the, the trailer that, I mean, they've only released, they've released like two trailers, but they're both basically the same. But it was the it was the, the trailer for Oppenheimer. Uh, the other ones, there were a couple of interesting ones, I thought. There was one, uh, uh, I think it was, 
it's a Chinese romantic comedy or a romantic comedy starring Chinese people, um, culturally Chinese. It's, uh-huh. um, it looked interesting. Rachel liked it. Rachel said, Oh, I'd watch that. And I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. Um, there like weren't any rich Asian sort of thing. Uh, or was it like a no, it's more of, it, it's more of a, uh, coming of age sort of thing. I think like they're, you know, they're, they're moving to like this, this person's best friend is moving to New York and he's kind of like a, a misfit and doesn't really, you know, he, he has had trouble keeping a relationship together and it turns out he's the problem the whole time. But yeah, I, I don't know. It, it didn't look sort of laugh out loud funny to me. It looked more like, Oh, this is something that's going to be poignant, but, but has funny moments built into it. And uh, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that is. Uh, I didn't really, I, none of the other trailers were particularly memorable. Oh, there was oh, one yeah. for, um, one for a movie that's, uh, about AI and like the AI takes over and then we have to fight the AI and, and the AI are these, they embody these humanoid robots, which is always hilarious to me. Like, uh-huh. like somehow we're the evolutionary pinnacle, <laughs> like, oh, like these yeah. bipedal, you know, meat suits are the, are the thing that, <laughs> that an AI would create if given the opportunity to create the perfect being it's us. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that always yeah. makes me laugh when they do that. But, um, it's, I don't know. It had some kid in it and the kid is like the key to the whole thing. And you know how much I love that crap. So, uh, yeah. uh, it yeah. sounds like Terminator. Yeah, Terminator, a little, a, a little Terminatory. <laughs> yeah, actually, Terminator Four. I think the the, uh, oh. the John Connor one. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, that, that's that's sort of what it felt like a little bit because he's got a yeah. uh, you know this guy's supposed to kill the kid and he's char- and he's protecting him instead and it's just I don't know. Oh, because the AI or the the AI is. is embodied in this kid, and the kid's the weapon. I I don't. It, it wasn't uh, super clear, and it it's uh, it's going to be a mess. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be an absolute <laughs> mess. I can tell. So, well, getting back to the uh, yeah. the indie movie, um, I'm trying to think of what else there was. So oh, I yeah, hey. oh go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, you know, like it it gave me a vibe of a a better done. Uh, like, well, I guess I, that's what it is. It's a, it's a, like national treasure, yeah. like with Nicolas Cage, it's like a better done version of that, yep. you know, cause yep. it does hit like the conspiracy stuff that I kind of like. And, um, you know, but I don't like the time travel thing. I, I kind of like, I'm kind of over the time travel stuff. Right. Yeah. I, uh, I kind of, I, I had avoided sort of all the spoilers going in. Uh, and all the reviews and everything, but I uh-huh. sort of dial of destiny and like a clock image, the clock imagery and the poster and that sort of stuff. I was like, Oh, there's going to be time travel shenanigans in this. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, and then, and then as soon as they open the movie, the first thing you hear is a ticking clock, but it's a bomb, <laughs> but it's still a ticking <laughs> clock. And I'm yeah. like, Oh, okay. Yeah. Real subtle. And then, and then again, when he wakes up like 10 minutes later after the flashback scene that starts the movie, there's a ticking clock on the, on the counter. And then he gets a clock because he's retiring. And I'm just like, you're just going to beat us over the head with this, aren't you? <laughs> but I'm like, Oh, right. Mortality also. Right. I get it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, even at that time, he'd have to be pushing sixty something, right? Like when he like at when, oh yeah, when taking place like because it was the sixties. Oh, for yeah. sure, yeah, yeah. Because wasn't yeah. it? Wasn't he? He was sixty nine, so it would have yeah. been what I, I think. Uh, uh, last the last Crusade flashback when he was a teenager was like nineteen eighteen or something like yeah. that. So he would yeah. have been at least. I guess that would make him, you know, in his sixties for sure. Yeah. 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 So, so I don't know. I mean, that's pretty good shape, though. You know, that guy won't die, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I did like how he's complaining, like, oh, well, he's climbing the rock. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I did have a note here that says uh, Harrison Ford pretty much playing himself as a grumpy old man yeah. in most of the movie. <laughs> he's all, I'm too old for this shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, Yelling at his lower. neighbors for playing the Beatles too early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is eight o'clock, though. eight a.m. or whatever it was. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, in case, in case you didn't know, it was 1969." Here's the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. You get the right.
rights to that. You know, that's a big budget. Oh movie. yeah. That, that cost a for Yeah. They spent $300 million to make that movie. That was probably a hundred of it to get magical <laughs> mystery to her. <clears throat> I don't know. I, uh, I, I did like the opening scene. I, you know, a bunch of dead Nazis, I think makes any movie better. <laughs> and so, <Yeah. laughs> so the scene at the beginning where there's the, they're climbing on the outside of the train and the artillery is just picking them off. <laughs> 